everyone, and welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. I'm so excited to be sharing this playthrough with you today, as it's been one that I've just been quietly waiting for the game to be complete, and the game has gone through its redemption arc. We know how 2020 went. We know how the whole journey has gone from its uh, very hyped release to the massive drop, to the drama, to the trials and tribulations, to releasing an anime, to releasing a DLC, and all of these updates and quality of life things to give us uh, as much of a complete cyberpunk experience as we're going to get. And that was what I was waiting for before the playthrough came to the channel. So, so excited to finally be playing this game because this is one of my favorite sort of genres and aesthetics. I'm a big Blade Runner fan. I love dread, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna be just living out my Blade Runner dreams today. At least I hope so. We will see what I have to look forward to. Uh, but last month I did a poll with my Big Boss tier patrons against Yakuza 0, Deus Ex, and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And Cyberpunk took the winning spot. I win either way. I'm excited to play all of those games and I will be, but it, today it's Cyberpunk. So let's enjoy an RPG from the Witcher developers, and we'll get into the Witcher games at some point as well. But Cyberpunk 2077 is where we're at today. Let's press spacebar to continue and breach. All right, let's see. Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty. So I have the ultimate edition. It's all here. It's all installed and everything is ready to go. Um, I don't know how it works. We'll figure it out as we go along. I'm sure that Phantom Liberty is something that I think is a post game expansion or that's for later. I don't think it's going to throw us into that right away. First step is uh, to start a new game and see what happens. I also am quite proud of the little uh, webcam border that I've done to be immersive with the game experience. I'm part of the user interface here. This is like if you were watching Cyberpunk through your cybernetic eyeballs and I'm just that annoying guy on your screen, the Mapo AI. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> oh, there we go. Skip ahead to Phantom Liberty. So uh, start from the very beginning without skipping content. Phantom Liberty will become available once you've progressed through enough of the main story. Okay. So it's something that is later on. Regular start. Select difficulty level. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's sick. It's like Doom. I like how the car changes as well. That's so sick. What got bro so stressed he had to rip off his jacket? That's an amazing shift. The right choice for players who just want to sit back and enjoy the story. Enemies will have all the tools at their disposal to take V on, but for the most part, only enemies at a higher level will prove a significant challenge. Combat will be a substantial challenge. The effective use of perks, cyberware, combat gadgets, and consumables will be essential to survival. And buckle up for a serious challenge. Careful character development and clever use of items, game mechanics, and the environment will be necessary to help V make it on the streets of Night City. Um, I'm sure you can change it as you go along. I'm attracted to this. The effective use of perks, cyberware, combat gadgets. Cyberpunk is supposed to be a rough living city. Let's see how we go. And uh, if I bitch out, we'll go back to normal. We'll see. Let's just see. We'll just see how we go. It's appealing. V's life path. Select V's life path. Some events and dialogue options in the game will be different depending on your choice. A nomad, a street kid, or a corpo. Roaming the badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy. But growing up in a nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess and no amount that money can buy. They say if you want to understand the streets, you gotta live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small time pushers, you were raised by them all. Down here, the lore of the jungle dictates the weak serve the strong. The only lore in Night City you have yet to break. And a corpo... Few leave the corporate world with their lives, few are still with their souls intact. You've been there, you've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game. Only winners and losers. Damn, all of those are really quite appealing. I love that. 
I think what we're actually going to do, this is really interesting because all of these appeal to me and I want to know how all of them work out at the beginning. Something that I did for Dragon Age Origins was we picked an origin, took it all the way to the end because that one like felt super right to me at the first choice and then we played through the other origins once I finished the playthrough just to get a sense of that beginning. But with these three options, I honestly am feeling quite a pull to all of them. So something we're actually going to do for the beginning of Cyberpunk 2077, I feel, is we're actually going to play through each of these origins. We're going to play through each of these life path choices just to see how different the introduction can be. And then I'm going to go with my favorite for our main playthrough. I think that's what I'm going to choose. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to go with choosing whether I want to be like a male or female V for each one of these, but it's definitely going to be a choice. So I think we're going to go with Street Kid first, because that one feels like a cool beginning. We'll get like the streets introduction, then we'll go for the nomad introduction all the way out, and then we'll go for uh, the corpo introduction. That'll be pretty cool, I think. So let's check out Street Kid first. Select body type. Um, V's appearance may sometimes affect the behavior of other characters. Uh, we could totally be a femme fatale. I think we'll go with this body type. I relate to this one the most. Voice tone, masculine. I'm V. Ooh, all feminine. <laughs> I'm V. I'm V. I like the feminine voice better though. Let's, we're, we could do whatever the fuck we wanted, cyberpunk. <laughs> I'm V. Uh, with male pronouns. I'm V. With female pronouns. I'm V. I'm V. You can keep switching. I'm not sure yet. I need more than I'm V. I'm V. I'm V. All right. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. We can go into a variety of skin tones. Uh, give me the one that looks like they never go outside. That'll do. Skin type. Oh, I can look sick or I can look smooth. How long will character creation take in Cyberpunk? No idea. Join me for the journey. Okay, so we've got five skin types. Uh, honestly, the default one. Oh, God. The default one works. Can I be bald and beautiful? Probably. All right, what do we got? What are the crazy... Si there we go. I was like, where's the crazy cyberpunk hair? Okay, that's a choice. That's also a choice. Nice. Lovely. Man, I need, I need more crazy. Okay, every time I say crazy, I get one of these good. More crazy, more cyberpunk. Be <laughs> he keeps saying as he's probably going to go with the bold head option. Got to represent the bold brothers. Although I'm pretty sure the game's just in uh, first person anyway, right? So it doesn't matter. <laughs> Unless I'm wearing a hat and then it's just going to look silly, isn't it? There's some good hairstyles in here. And the hair looks quite good. Like, look at that. Perfect. Oh, yes, dude. Tunnel Snakes rule, baby. I'll just be like a Fallout character. Ah, oh, there we go. It took 51 hairstyles to get to proper skinhead. Unbelievable. What do the beards look like? Please tell me we got some exceptional beards. Don't make me cry, game. Yes. As long as the hair comes off the face, right? There we go. I, I wish I could kind of zoom out, actually. A bit too close for comfort here. That is well trimmed. Okay, not many beards, really. Not the worst selection. Um... But it, mm, I don't want to be that big. I used to have a beard that big back in 2021. I think we'll just have to go for the 
to this bad boy, which means I, I need to be I need to be more exciting for sure. So we're actually going to give ourselves a hairstyle. It's third person. We just know that we're rocking around with something crazy. Usually I rock the bold look, but we got to do something nuts. Surprisingly, there's no balding in Night City. I don't think it, there's not there's no thinning hairstyles. Probably because in the world of uh, cyberpunk, they've managed to finally fix male pattern baldness by now. It's cybernetic hair. <laughs> it's you see the this hair. It's actually all fucking uh, nylon strands. <laughs> Cyber hair, dog. I need hair fit for a street kid. Fucking perfect. Do you reckon in first person view that your uh, vision is impaired? <laughs> Could you imagine, dude? Oh, it'd be the greatest extra difficulty mode, dude. What a look, honestly. I mean, you gotta be pretty brave to pull that off. Wait, what is going on there? Oh, it's like a little side bun. Alright. I can't believe that's the fourth option. That's pretty wild. I can't I can't settle on the crazy ones. I just can't. I don't think they're that good. <laughs> We're going bald after all. Alright, what are my eyes? Stop moving, please, sir. I'm trying to figure out my eyeballs. Need to make need to make them apocalypse in cyberpunk of my dreams. Oh, you have the bloodshot eyes. That's cool. Can you have like super cybernetic looking eyes? <laughs> Dude, okay, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, that's so sick. Right on, dude. The bloodshot eyes are pretty cool. This is. Very nice. I like this. Very like Android. That's horrifying. See, I'm I'm attracted to it, but I know that I'm gonna. Well, that's the thing. I say I'm gonna hate it, but it's in first person, isn't it? It's not like I'm gonna be looking. But I'm gonna know. I'm gonna know that's that's what I look like. <laughs> All right, let's do bloodshot eyes. That's so silly. I wonder if your eyes would ever be commented on by characters in the world if you went for something crazy like this. They'd be like, whoa, dude. Hypnotoad. You know? Walking around being Hypnotoad is definitely a choice. I love the green. Let's do a green. Give me the great big bushy brows, where are they? Need something aggressive. That's fine. Sure. Maybe I will go for more of a crazy beard than oh my god. He's a thumb. Number two beard's alright. Is there no just straight mustache? It's just like all goatee and facial hair. And there's just no straight moustache. Alright, we're going for beard number two. Beard number two it is. Oh, hang on. Beard style. They do have straight moustache because it's a beard style. Okay. Nice work. I can get down with that then. Nice. Oh god, no, I got rid of my... <laughs> Give me my moustache back. Cyberware. Oh, this is cool. I like this detailing. This is much more unique. Ooh, on the neck. Okay. Oh, they're all so cool, actually. That's just nothing. Gotta have something. I love the amount of effort you can put into a first-person game where I'm barely ever gonna look at my face unless I stare in a mirror or something, but I fuck with this cyberware stuff. Kind of like the... 
I like the simplicity of that, but I also like, this is weird. This feels like I'm going to have like guns come out of my cheeks or something. It's going to go, they're like panels. <laughs> I'm going to have something come out of my cheeks. What would a street kid have, you know? Can't go with just the typical ones. I like this. This is quite simple. Uh, what's our facial scarring? Ooh. Okay. Hey. Excuse me. This is for girlfriends. They can read the braille on my face. I've always got something sweet to say. I've been stepped on or like run over by a car. That's crazy. Okay. That's some sort of facial scarring, I guess. How'd you get that one, dude? It was run over by a fucking car. Okay. Um. Interesting choice of scarring. That's that's kind of interesting, actually. Um, let's get a gnarly little cheek one. Sure. I decided I was eating sheet metal or something, and then I cut myself on the cheek. Uh, facial tattoos. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. Oh my god! What are we? Some kind of Suicide Squad? Let's not do that. Crash test dummy is hardcore. Let's go. Oh, an actual. Oh, I feel so good about being bald now. Yes. Oh, the fucking dome tat. Okay. I. Oh, oh this game actually has good tattoos. Props. Do you know how many games have just absolutely just terrible tattoos? It's like they've never seen a tattoo before in their life that. It's like Cyber Skull? Holy shit. Oh, they, they actually thought about the tattoos. That's really well done. Except, yeah, especially the cringe ones. That's amazing. Tattoos! Really well done. Very happy with these. We can go Joker mode if we want. We won't. Um, fuck yeah. Honestly, I would get a head tattoo if I know that I could grow my hair back on top of it, because then it could be like a rare occasion to like sport the <laughs> the dome tatty. Um, but I'm not brave enough at the moment. I think this is probably as high as I'll go. Big fan of the of the tatties. Uh, they've, they've done a great job. Very attracted to the idea of this, cause it, just cause it looks fucking great. Cyber Skull. And I like this thing on the back. Master Chief, you mind telling me what you're doing with a fucking Cortana chip on the back of your head? Alright, I've made my choice. Uh, we are going with this one. Um... Edgy bro. Actually, no, I don't like those guns. I like the Sacred Heart on the back of the head. I have my I have my Sacred Heart on my chest. But I, I don't really fuck with those guns much. Yeah, well, let's go for the Voldemort look. When I got a lot I got eyes in the back of my head, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm ferocious, dog. I'm I was raised on the streets. With my bloodshot eyes. All right, what piercings have we got? Three at once. Okay, can I just have like one? It just gets more. Each option is just like more. <laughs> can, can I just have one, dude? Oh, okay. You're overloading me here. <laughs> Fellas, just the one will do. Okay, one on the ear. Come on. Give me one on the nose. Are you kidding? Oh, that's so obnoxious. You want a nose ring? You gotta also have an eyebrow piercing. Come on. You were so close. That's annoying because the piercings that I want are there. I just can't have only them. That's a shame. That That is a shame because that puts me off entirely. Um, yeah. Mm. God damn it. 
<laughs> Get the magnets away from me, guys. You know what? Let's go for the um let's go for the Darth Maul. I'll fuck with the Darth Maul. We'll put one in the ear. Teeth! Oh, bear those teeth. Can we have the yeah? The golden teeth. Pink. Wild. Um yeah, normal. Uh, just the standard teeth will do, thank you. Um, we'll pass on our makeup. Uh, blemishes. What is my skincare routine like? I think we'll just turn those off. I can do my nails. That's good. That's good for first person, actually. My nails holding the gun. Short and long. Okay, well, short boys. We can change our nails. Ooh, seductive red. Okay, sure, baby. We got any like fun patterns or anything? Yeah, we got some like fun pattern work. Sure. Dipped my fingers in some Skittles. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. Oh, they got the flame nails actually. Nice. They got flame nails. Um, how do I just? Just give me <laughs> gray nails is a very interesting choice. None of these really look like they match right. I guess I'm just not looking in the right lighting. I get like some chipped nails. Nice. You got my chipped nails, brother. I can turn my nipples on or off. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> turn them off, dude. Nothing. Oh, let's have a look at the body tats. What are we rocking with the body tats? We got the snake. I'm never going to see my body under any of my clothes, but at least we get to establish that I have tatties. That would go well with, like, the skull head, I think. Oh, the heart with the snake. Yeah, fuck yeah. That one's good. Body scars. Yeah, I had a emergency C-section. Sure, why not? I've been stabbed in the gut. Customize your look. Actually, give me my nipples back, will ya? Give me my nipples back! How dare you steal them from me? Alright, that, that seems pretty good. That's me. That's what I look like in real life. Um, hang on, I forgot to do my uh, my facial features with my, my nose and stuff. What's a nose that I have? I'm never good at this. I just usually uh, go for one that's good on the actual. Give me a good, just need a good ridge, you know? I tend to, I have a bit of a rounded nose. So that one's actually, it's a little, but like small nostrils, which is hard to achieve in a video game. little button nose. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's an actual choice, that one right there. Look at those transformations. It's so weird. They stop looking like noses after a while. It just looks strange. Um, oh, that's a schnoz. Those are some schnozzes right there. Um, yeah, give me, give me that. Wait. No, hang on. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, my mouth. Honestly, I think the first one is probably just fine as it is. I feel like I need to get rid of my beard so I can see my jaw, though. Actually, yeah, fuck it. Let me get rid of my beard. I can see why the beard was after the rest, because I need to make sure that the rest of my face is actually looking good under there. Because look at what I've done to myself. <laughs> Uh, give me my, give me my mouth back. As long as I have a good side profile, we're fine. And we're not looking great at the moment on the side, side profile, I gotta say. Um, my jaw looks a bit short. Can I lengthen this bad boy a little bit? 
that's fine. That is fine. I have very small ears. I'm a small ear boy. Come on, just... Give me a slider or something and then I can make him... I love how we have 15, 16, 17, 18... How many different ears do we have? But then limited hairstyles. Uh, limited beards. Right, just... The first ear will be fine. The first ear is fine. Um... jaws we got. I feel like that chin's a little bit better. Yeah, that's that's good. This, I'm still not set on my nose here. I feel like I need a stronger nose. But not too strong. God, the first nose is a bit of a hook scenario, isn't it? None of them, none of them are really perfect. You know what? 19. I'm feeling cold to 19. Sure thing. Why not? That's me. Give me my beard back. I feel naked without it. Oh, what a, what a great, what a great look right there with the, with the moustache. I hope there's a barber so I can change later. It's a cyberpunk experience. I'm sure you'd be able to change your shit. Next! So I can do my stats. So is that- that's everything? Have I missed anything? Nose, mouth, jaws, ears, beard, cyberware, scars, piercings, teeth, nails, nipples. Nice. Um, jolly good. Hmm. I'm gonna change my eyes. Go back. I'm looking at the eyes and they need changing. I need some eyes that will speak to me and they say, these are your eyes. And we haven't really reached that point yet. I'm surely better than picking number one for everything because that's so boring. A little bit of a sleepy eye there. forgotten which one I had before. I just feel like I like the placement but I wish that I could change the size a little bit. There's not... I need a little bit more on the customization. 11. 11 is is calling my name. I feel like I got it. There we go. I need to change my eyebrow color to match my beard color. There you go. Eyelash color. It's fine. <clears throat> All right, here we are. Street Kid Mapocalypse. Um, I have points. So we're doing our body intelligence, reflexes, technical ability, and cool. All right. <laughs> oh, max cool. Okay, so six is the max level. Three is the minimum. Cool determines your assassination skills and stealth abilities. Progressing it improves your proficiency with precision rifles, sniper rifles, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, handguns, and throwable weapons. It also enables you to use advanced stealthy perk abilities and subtle or street smart dialogue choices. All right, I'll put cool to five. Techie know-how. Progressing it improves your proficiency with explosives and tech weapons and allows you to be compatible with high-end cyberware. It also allows you to bypass some locks, override devices, and exhibit tech-savvy knowledge and dialogues. Plus two armor per point. Reflexes determine your maneuverability and ability to evade enemy attacks. Progressing the attribute improves your proficiency with assault, submachine guns, and blades, and enables you to use advanced movements. It also enables you to make quick observant remarks and dialogues. Ooh, I like that. Blades, too. Intelligence determines your net running abilities. Progressing it improves your proficiency with smart weapons and allows you to unleash your full potential as a net runner. Ooh, do I want to be a net runner? It's as close as I can get to a blade runner in the name only. 
Uh, it also enables you to access local subnets and show off your knowledge of the net in dialogues. You can be a nerd. One max RAM per four attribute points. And body determines your raw physical power and fortitude. Progressing it improves your proficiency with shotguns, light machine guns, and blunt weapons. It also enables you to open doors by force, rip off turrets, use intimidating or solo trained dialogue choices. Okay, let's go for max reflexes. Um, and then one less on cool, four on intelligence. Um, yeah, body, we're gonna put our our body, our strength at a, at a three. Oh, you know what? I might regret that on hard, but if we're an agile, stealthy boy, then maybe we might not need to worry so hard about it. Thicker than blood. That's what a street kid would have, right? Um... Yeah. Maybe... You know what? Hmm. Intelligence and technical ability would go very well with each other. I'm actually gonna have... Technical ability and body be three. And I'm gonna have... Reflexes and... Uh, reflexes be six. Intelligence and cool five. That's how I'm gonna spec out those points. That's just how we begin. I'm sure that we can change it as we go on. So that's fine. Biomonitor panel. Alias V, difficulty hard. Backstory, street kid. They say if you want to understand the streets, you gotta live them. Uh, lovely. Points can be freely distributed at any point in the game. Ah, oh, if you have them unspent. All right. Is that what I like? Oh, I like the tattoo on the back. A little bit edgy, but I like the imagery. I like the design work. I don't know if I really fuck with the text as much, but you can't really customize past that point. Apocalypse in Cyberpunk. There he is. I got my I got my snake tap. So I know how to rotate my arm properly. Ugh. <laughs> Can't rotate my arm that way, guys. I got my snake and my other snake, so we're fine. Do I get a third snake at some point? Probably. A little anesthesia. A set broken nose. Amazing. That's how I. Uh, that's how I start. Incredible. Nice. Look at me go. All right. Set broken nose. Yeah. A moment of pain and you'll be set. Do it, Jim. I didn't even need the shot for that. Everything chill, mano? Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local will try to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V. I got a problem. Serious this time. Damn, look at the details on this place, actually. Holy crap. Woo! Wow. That's really good lighting, too. Those smoke effects? Sorry, Pepe, I'm just looking around at the goddamn detailing. Holy shit. This looks great. Find yourself a hole, sounds like. You need help? Ah, no, I could count on you. It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he'd bust my legs. And he don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint. Deserve the hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. Damn, look at the cyber arms that this dude's got. The gold is great. You sure you don't got money, man? You got gold arms. So, you're gonna help me out, V? <laughs> You ever gonna get wise, Pepe? Please tell me your brother's doing all right. 
uh, doing his thing, you know. So, can you help? I'll talk to Kirk, but then you're gonna owe me one. Welcome to Cyberpunk 2077. First time in Night City, pay close attention to the tutorials, and learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. Or if you've already experienced Edge Runner, feel free to disable hints. Like talking about Edge Runner, the the anime, right? That's called Edge Runners. If you've come from the anime, just disable hints, dude. And go to the database at any time during the game to access tutorials. Okay. Ah. He's so good. And you're saving my life, he, truly. Demons walk with him. Is there like a zoom? But I'll tell him you're sorry. True log. Wonder if I can just. Oh, I can. My eyeballs can zoom. Perfect. That's a smart way to avoid having reflections. Wannabe cookie, cu cookie cutter punk. I like that translation. Oh, that's awesome. Like live subtitle translation. Love that. You have nothing better to do. Oh. Oh, damn, dude. Uh, hey, how's it going? You seem confused. Yeah, dude. I'm having a goddamn look around. Wow. All right, guys. So this is going to be a 6,000 episode playthrough as I proceed to spend the first uh, 20 episodes looking at the details. My lord. Okay. It won't be like that, but it also, yes, it will. Electronic murderer, a feast for the eyes. Wow, there is a lot going on here. Okay. Nope. Don't got that neither. I don't know. Them Colombians, maybe? Right. Right. Catch you. Damn, dude. Okay. Hey. Where's the rest? Still on fucking, man. Oh. Game slowed down a bit there. Whoa. It's probably because I'm in like a massive lighting zone and the ray tracing is like <laughs> cooking my computer right now. Ah, my computer's on fire. <laughs> it's smoking. Tiancha. That's right. If my uh, PC catches on fire, I feel like I'll know about it. It's all part of the atmosphere. Hopefully the game performs well and runs well and like performance aside on the settings that it's on, it'll it'll all go well. I'm sure we'll find out together. I can play Roach Race. I love playing my video games to play a video game. Alright guys, welcome to uh, episode one of Roach Race. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Double jump. Oh god, I broke my legs. Okay, good start. Barbosa. Schemer. Netman. Silverhand. Now I know the char I know a character of Keanu Reeves is in this game as Johnny Silverhand. I feel like is I feel like that's Johnny in there. That's funny. Huh! Huh! Oh god! We got birds! Flappy goat bird thing, let's go. This is what I'm playing Cyberpunk 2077 for, dude. Huh! Huh! Oh no! Oh! I missed the apple, god damn it! Oh, I'm faster now! Okay! I'm running on my two front legs! I'm an expert. Oh, I should have double jumped. These birds are crazy. Carrot, get. Oh, no. What happened? Was I... Did I have... I got my life saved by something. Dude, look at us go, dude. Damn it, bird. My apple. Damn it. No! Oh! oh god, that was close, dude. I'm s oh! 
hours later. Guys, I've made it to the next stage. There's a full game in here. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, bird. Don't do that shit to me. No! Oh, that's the worst. Literally just... Okay, fine. Those carrots are crazy. Oh, mm. Alright. There's a whole soundtrack here, dude. Hi everyone, welcome to my Cyberpunk 2077 Let's Play. We're playing Root Race. I can't believe that we have a Roach from The Witcher 3 reference. Right? Just to start. <laughs> That's fucking so stupid. <sighs> okay, that's rude. Oh. I'm crushing right now. They're like, how do we throw a Witcher reference into Cyberpunk? Let's put the very first fucking arcade game you can play as a Witcher reference. How about that? <laughs> Where's Gwent? Can we play Gwent in Night City? Oh my god, the birds are getting stronger. And we've got weird rock monoliths. I wasn't expecting to live this long, but now we're at a point where I'm just still alive, guys. I thought, okay, there we go. <laughs> 906. I cooked. I at least beat, uh, oh no, we've knocked Silverhand off. Do I get, to, do I get to put in a name? Oh, oh yeah, it's just V, isn't it? Damn. Okay, I'm out. Get me out of here. How do I get out? <laughs> get, get me out of here. Get me out of Root Race. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing Ro- Oh, I got a message. What do you mean I can't do that right now? I got sent a message. Alright, fine. Fine, bro. I got sent a message thanking me for playing the game. Little hair of the dog? Yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. Dude, the detailing is crazy. Trauma drama. All right, we'll leave. Oh, I was at the hospital today. Javi's got some broken ribs, but praise Jesus, the bullet didn't hit any organs. What happened? A police manhunt. They were chasing some dealers. So he had it coming, eh? He was just standing there. Standing, understand? NCPD peaks were shooting everyone. He don't deal, never has. Vote for Perales. Ooh, guys, we've got reading. We've got like some sort of uh, data stick. Hi, I'm Jefferson Perales, a no-holds-barred candidate with an entrepreneurial spirit. What am I fighting for? An end to mega-corporate influence on Night City politics. Naysayers be damned, we can do it. All I need is a token of your support to run a campaign without corporate funding. With your help, I will win this election. And if I win, you win. What do you get in return? A truly independent city, an end to mega corporate rule, an end to making decisions that affect this city and its people. From behind the mahogany desks of board members that have never set foot on the streets of Watson or Pacifica. I seek equal opportunities for all and greater access to education. During my first year in office, I pledge to create an annual fund for 20 full scholarships and 30 partial scholarships in order to support the educations of the city's 200 most promising students. Okay, I can read stuff. That's fun. My arm's freaking out. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I'm freaking out a bit down here. My, my body is not happy to be... Okay, that's fine. That's good. That's a good walk. Oh, sorry. I was freaking out on the ground specifically here. Okay. Consumable stamina regen regen rate. Okay, I'll take it. Give me a give me a drink. Where's my inventory? What do we got? Bitch, <laughs> that's my my fucking shirt, dude. Okay, look at my pants. V stained tank top. Can I just 
Can you equip anything and unequip it? Oops. 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 Um, action blocked. Alright, I can't take it off. These streetwear pants. And my street kicks. Alright, I can't take anything off, sadly. Not yet. My cyberwear. I'm sure this will all come in handy later. My journal. Ooh, what's going on? Okay, hang on. Ooh, lore and information. Okay, this is cool. So you have, like, your journal. And that gives you information about things. How's it feel being back home, V? Come on, admit it. You missed Haywood? What, between all the dealers, hookers, and total lack of opportunities, it's got its charm, don't it? You're born in Haywood, you die in Haywood. Unless you're one of the lucky ones, that is. What about you, Mano? That include you? Valentinos. Is this my is this my street kid gang? Loud vests, flashy gold cyberware, heavy jewelry, tattoos of Santa Muerte and Jesus Malaverde. You'd have a hard time mistaking Valentino when you saw one. Inspired by Chicano culture, their expressive style makes them seem like something straight out of a Mexican barrio, but if you look closer, you'll see anyone can join the gang, no matter their background or ethnicity. The Valentinos are strictly territorial, operating in Haywood. They're tied to the local community by nearly familial bonds of friendship and by beers. The Valentinos run completely legal businesses like restaurants, nightclubs, and auto shops, but are all fronts for their other dirty abyss of money laundering, smuggling stolen vehicles or guns, human trafficking, and gang warfare. The Valentinos' friendship is priceless and it will follow you to the graves. You might want to think twice before riding with them. And the El Coyote is a dive in Haywood run by the universally liked Mama Wells. Its clientele mainly consists of locals, but anyone who can appreciate good food and has the means to pay for it is greeted with open arms. And Haywood is a district of contradictions. The northern part that borders the city centre is modern and well-kept, proud of its stunning mega-buildings, parks and places that are open to the public, but all you have to do is go a few blocks southeast and the scenery starts to change dramatically. This part of Haywood is much poorer and more dangerous. The buildings are smaller and the streets are controlled by the Valentinos and the 6th Street Gang. If you know your place, keep your head down. Haywood isn't really so bad. After all, it's where most of Night City sleeps. If you're not a corpo and you score an apartment in the richer part of the district, then you've just won the lottery. Otherwise, just be happy you live in Haywood. In Night City, things could always be worse. Okay. So, I wonder if there's a way for us to just have access to that specific information. Um... The journal just has, like, a map. Cool. We'll figure this out later. Oh my lord, hey. Oh, bud. So, <laughs> intimidation level 20. Could always be worse. Nah, bitch goes to me. Damn. I'm loving just like the ambient conversations that are taking place too. So it don't look so hard to me. Holmes. Great details. Tourism advisory. Stay within city limits. Stick to city center for safety. Unfortunately, the areas surrounding Night City still pose significant risks to travelers. The city stands on the disputed border between North and South Carolina. Echoed crack of gunfire can be heard coming from this political fault line day and night. Although border patrols bravely and tirelessly pursue illegal migrant caravans and hunt down merciless bands of nomads who prey on innocent civilians, much of the surrounding area can nevertheless prove dangerous. To ensure your safety, several corporations have dedicated their resources to defend city borders. Border checkpoints require a special pass, and any attempt to cross without one requires security forces to open fire without hesitation. Stay on the right side of the law and avoid any unfortunate accidents. Safe skies over Night City. Ground transportation into the city is only advised if you are accompanied by corporate or military personnel. Instead, visitors to Night City are strongly encouraged to travel by plane. Daily connections from major American cities and orbit are available. The spaceport is located on Morrow Rock, just off the coast, and is accessible from the Ring Road by exiting onto Spaceport Boulevard. The island has some of the best views of the city, so we recommend a pit stop to snap a few, even if you still have no plans to fly. This, they've got stuff in orbit, that's cool. We have reached space! 
interesting. I'm not sure how much reading we'll do, whether we pick up all the chips and read through all of them, or maybe collect some and have like a reading session later. We'll figure it out as we go along. We'll see what feels right for the playthrough. Hey Kirk, wanna talk? V, been a while? Spin it, what you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. Oh. What, oh. Hello, buddy. Uh, tell him I don't bite. Not yet. Oh, buddy, you've got ears. Christmas time is over, and this is where the elves go to hang out after. Okay. What's he owe you? Afraid that's client confidentiality. Call it a lot and leave it at that. A cred shark with business ethics. Sounds too good to be true. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. Big Joe. Hell's your problem. <laughs> he literally said Merry Christmas. That's weird timing for me to make an elf joke, but sure, bud. Cut him some slack, will you? He'll pay. Just need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's, you gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky who can't keep a deal off the hook? No, you let him off because it's me asking. Ha! Huh, you know me. I'm a man of the biz. So I need to know what I get out of it. We're throwing out the C word. Let's go. Damn, okay. Are we that guy though? Do we have that dog in us right now? We're a level one street kid. We haven't reached level 50 mafia boss yet. I don't know. I feel like this is a bad idea and it's just not gonna work. Transactions go two ways. I get that. I'll owe you a favor. Tempting. Got a Nova idea already. Oh, dude. Video in a magazine. That's fucking interesting. What's this? Grab a look. Scream sheet. Okay. Mm hmm. Cream ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Uh-huh, and four. <coughs> Number four will belong to my client, just as soon as you clep it for me, that is. Mm. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared? Of course. I'm a man of my word. You know that. Whole thing simple. You swipe the Rayfield for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. Soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. Why do I feel like this is gonna be a catch? Honestly, shit plan. And your man Rick? Trust him like my own brother. I'm glad that we have a uh, very clear optional dialogue. Plan sounds shaky as fuck. Oh, how so? Sounds like you're looking for a sucker. This ain't no setup, V. Heard you got a good head. Maybe we help each other make a few eddies. Who's the owner? Just an Arasaka suit from across the water. Spews cash out of every hole in his body. And his name? How would I know? Why would I care? It's a hot item, and I know where to find it. I love that detailing on the glasses. It's cool. It's like it's like giving him information, like a goddamn Dragon Ball scouter. In a rush here. How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire, fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield Techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. 
Come on, Kirk. Even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. We are. Glad to hear it. Always said you were a bright bulb. Head to Ember's in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. Be waiting for you. You two will hit it off. Good luck what? out there. We'll be in touch. Why do I feel like this is going to go poorly? <laughs> Alright, active job objectives marked with an exclamation mark on my HUD and minimap. Let's go. Perales has my vote. Man, it don't matter. Perales, Ryan, suit from the same circle. Nah, Perales is different. Live just two blocks from me. He was long and getting a Cops are gonna start bullshit. Bullets. The cabron is best in his weight class. God, this is such a pretty looking game. I'm a big fan of trash. They call me the trash man. I love detailed trash and like the neon alleyways and just filthy looking cyberpunk stuff. It's an aesthetic that I really dig. So this is just very satisfying to look at. And I've only been in one building so far. Okay. To access photo mode, hold N. Okay. Fat ass motherfucker. Hey, why do I see no goddamn lemons? No goddamn limes? They're in there, for sure. Alright, we're out of maybe. Mm -hmm. We're in the wild now. Hello? Look at this dude. Mm -hmm. Can't talk to this guy though. Got a seg. Sophia. Okay, we got a named character. We met before. Don't recognize you. I just asked for a smoke. Jesus. Yeah, I got my cyber lighter in my finger. So okay, Sophia. What the? Maybe that's just like a member of the gang or something. Jesus. Jesus. Spare veterans from change. Oh, I didn't even see you there, bud. How much money do I have? Got no home, sick kid and cheating wife, need booze money ASAP. You're just gonna... Oh, okay. I was reading that! So you're a vet today, huh? <laughs> what can I say? War stories rake it in. You're just gonna waste it anyways. Alright, here you go. Great story, bud. Here. All yours. Knew I saw good in you. God bless. <laughs> Cybernetic God comes to devour its children. Yep. Talk to the people in Santo. Tell them to be ready. Yes, Padre. Well, who do we have here? Padre. Long time. Didn't know you were around. This is so cool. Body and trunk? I didn't even see that. Yep. No place like home. Sebastian Ibarra, haven't changed a smidge. No one calls me by my name anymore. Almost forgotten how it sounds. How are things, Padre? The same. Haywood. Nothing ever changes here. I'd rather hear about you. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See you got a good down-home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. Dude, the atmosphere immediately, like hearing just like the echoes of the advertisements ringing through the city. Got the crazy people in the street already. Oh my God. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Ember's. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard it, Marcus. Padre. Your return to NC has been good? Busy already? And two years gone by, not much has changed. 
You know how it would. It has strong roots, ever watered by the same blood. Now, tell me about you. Eh, I pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So... Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? God, this place is incredible looking. And it's, a, it's dark, too. I can't wait to see this in the daytime. As you can see, I'm back. If I'd been better there, wouldn't have left. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. Shit. Oh. Stop the car. What's going on? Business. You carry it? Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen. Done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be? Well, Patty. What's it gonna be? One more fucking word. Stay out of this! I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. <laughs> Marcus, please. In the fucking metal dome. Damn, that's cool. Captain Caliente. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have the gift. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Who was that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just drop down below. Here, before you go. Your number. Could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Father Sebastian. Cool. All right, time to get to work. Gotta go. So go with God. Well, I'll be damned. Uh -huh. Look a slice. Dude, the Passion of the Christ is still getting remade. What? 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 Oh. Fuck. Cube. <laughs> Get a cube for three bucks. All right, we're going down. This is a clean looking elevator. This is cleaner than I thought it would be. Kirk Sawyer. Status. I'm on location. I'm about to find your man. Rick's one of the good guys, you'll see. I trust him like a brother. Yeah, so you said. Yeah. I'm not sure how the full UI is gonna look, like where everything will be. If there's like a nice little sweet spot, like maybe if there's not much going on in the bottom left corner, I might be able to slip my webcam down there. Cause there's a couple of things that have been coming up behind my webcam. Um, but we'll, we'll see. I might bump it down, but I don't have like full combat and health UI stuff popping up yet. So it's too early to tell. It's 
check for some vehicles. Find the yeah. refuel. Some I can help you with. Hey Rick, how you going, buddy? You Rick? Yep. You with Kirk? Yep. Cameras are blind. You got 20 minutes. Thanks, Rick. We're getting out of here, okay. Optional. These cars. Damn, I like the look of them. Some cool boys in here. Kirk, I see the ride. Your moment. VIP. Good luck. Can I have this one? I want this one. Give me this bad boy. Look at the red in there. All right. Let's see if this bad boy works. I feel like it's not going to. What is this Batmobile ass looking vehicle? Holy shit. Does it have a booster at the back? That name. Let's give it a shot. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a man of little faith. Hey, okay. We're rich. Okay. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. We can start the car as well. God, this is fancy. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Oh, oh. Hello? Get the fuck out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get the okay. fuck out. Easy. Nothing personal, compa. Just biz. Rayfield's mine. What, man? Never heard of Thieves' Honor. Finders Keepers. I was first. Listen, only one or two ways to do this. Friendly or fucked up. Either way, the ending's the same. I'm taking the car. What? What are you doing? Cachingalos? Oh, dude, okay. Don't move! You're under arrest! Stay where you are! Hands where I can see them. Nice and slow. On the ground, motherfuckers, now! Damn, well that went fucking swimmingly. Already arrested. Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. Oh. See you haven't grown an ounce wiser. Hey, <clears throat> Detective Stintz. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stintz. <sighs> Same shit. Speaking of... Your mug's familiar, too. Come on, spit it out. I'm waiting. Yeah? Yours ain't to me. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. Rat got you your know, tongue? Fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. Come on, Stintz. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up? Let's just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck, ordinary here. street trash. Got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cuff legs broken so this trash doesn't float. Damn. You heard him. <sighs> Fuck. Oh. Oh, not the fun sticks. God damn. All right, Jackie Wells. And I've seen him Honestly, way back when. For a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Nah, Stints wouldn't do us like that. You sure about that? Mm-hmm. He's Hayward born, bred, and grown like us. Hate suits as much as you do. 
Did what he had to do. That's it. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. Oh, 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 the game doesn't like me looking around in this dialogue. All right, don't look around in this dialogue. <laughs> now, I know about Jackie because he was in sort of like one of the... He was in like the big uh, announcement reveal trailers when Keanu Reeves got up on stage and all of that fun stuff. So I know about Jackie. I think he's just our like prologue character, right? Because of how the, <laughs> the cutscene goes, if you've seen it. Um, but he's a pretty cool guy. I, uh, his name's on the high score list of uh, Road Trace. <laughs> Jackie W. Nah, come on. Job was toxic from the start. Even Kabuki under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should have known I'd have the PD on my ass. So, maybe now, as God ordained, Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Yeah, because that's what we read about Mama Wells. Wait, Wells? Like Mama Wells? <laughs> Thought I'd recognize the name. She's my blood, all right. Coyote's her dive. It's strange you and I never met before. Got the job to steal those wheels at the Coyote. From Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe wasn't big and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Man, gotta wonder about Pepe letting slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on, let's go have some lunch. Damn, the game is like so detailed that it's like, and it's struggling when Jackie moves on screen. Lunch? <laughs> you would not believe my mama's chili. Best in town. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. Sense of kind of chemistry, you know? Come on. I'm fucking starved. This dude has incredible detailing. Like, so much of it. I love all the custom pants, too. Okay, food it is. Let's go. I want to be a cyber gunslinger, dude. Hey, hello there, Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got Bitch. a... Bitch. <laughs> Every new day here means a hundred new... Out on the town montage, okay. Working with Padre. And why do these peeps come to NC? Damn, we have we have Zooming. Like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the party gets. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. Why aren't I doing any of this myself? Okay. Ouch. Oh, I got new duds already. Okay. Just like that. I want to do all of this stuff. This is supposed to be my street kid stuff. Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. <laughs> matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. Brother. Night City. Okay. The sure. City of dreams. <laughs> Chick we're looking for somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Half a year later. It's open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Bruh, six months later. <laughs> All of that looks so cool. Why didn't I get to do any of that? 
Well? That's my street kid origin, I guess. It's like, look at all this cool street kid stuff you did. Wouldn't you have loved to be there? It was amazing. <laughs> I just got told about my adventures in a montage. There was so much of that look fun. All right, I've got so much game ahead of me, at least, right? It's not like I'm missing out on game, but also it hurts to like, I feel like I just skipped six months of character development because I get to know Mama Wells. You just skip over the introduction. There were some other faces that Jackie knew that we got introduced to in that scene. So I guess we're just skipping to like being established, but like, all right, fuck it. I won't linger too hard on it, but like, I kind of wish that I got to play through that six months, you know? Went to buy, went by way too quick. Cause now I'm supposed to be emotionally bonded and attached to Jackie. We're best buds now, but I don't feel that cause we just met him. Militech? Jack, we're talking classified military grade shit here. How'd you get it? Debug. And our girl made a couple adjustments. Why? Think she knows better? Nah, said it didn't suit her uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Who's our girl? I don't know, because I just woke up here. I've had a fever dream for six months, apparently. All right, give me the tutorial, because I don't know what I'm doing. Sure. Why the hell not? Hello. Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. Oh, OK. I'm having a moment. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because at military. Oh, ah. Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now, station one, you maggot. Move, move, move. Okay. Hope you're ready to bust ass through this fascist playground. Debug. Okay, I was going to just say, uh, sort of combat um, drone with fashions, military fashion sense. <laughs> He's got like boots and pants and everything. Well, we doing this? Maybe he is, it's cyberpunk. Maybe that's a real dude under there and he just appreciates clothing. I don't know. Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm up. This is very cool. My whip on, my M10 AF Lexington. Shoot with left click, aim with right click, reload with R, holster your weapon by double tapping ALT. Gotcha. Ah! 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 Yeah, I didn't think you'd find that too tough. What do you say we crank it up a notch? This feels good, this feels tight. Not bad. But it's more realistic if the target's packing iron. Ajax. Quit standing around and take cover. I already started shooting, babe. Sorry. This is cool, though. These guns look and feel great. Crouch. Can you, like, peek? Yeah, you can. Nice, you peek. Bop, bop, bop. Huh. You took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. A reanimator. Okay. Uh, a max duck. I heal with an inhaler. Um, something that's really cool about this game is it's hacked into my RGB lighting on my keyboard and it's like the cyberpunk colors of the blue and yellow on the logo. And then when I killed that uh, target, it went all red. I've got, place. I've Wait got uh, immersive keyboard lighting. <laughs> when you pick up a consumable item, it will automatically be added to an empty quick slot in your inventory. Consumable items such as grenades and health items have charges and can be used as long as you have charges remaining. The number of charges is indicated by a number on the item icon. Charges replenish over time. 
Come on, nice. don't need you hurt. Okay, so I'm starting to get area when you're good to go. I'm starting to get combat UI now. Gotcha. So I can have up to four weapons equipped, I think. Well, we doing this? Why does it say dodge dash left control, but it makes me crouch? And so does C. Oh, there we go. Whoop, whoop. But it also crouches. Are they bound to the same button? What's going on here? Um, crouch. Dodge dash and crouch. Uh, Oh, because there's tapping left control and holding it down. But, you... but it still does both. Look, I crouch. I guess because I'm like sliding on the ground or something. That's really weird. Also, it's like so small. I am not coordinated enough to do that. You can dodge backwards. Okay. It's... Hang on. It's definitely crouching at the same time. So, <clears throat> crouch and dive. I'm just going to change that to C. What's just the same? Um, why can't I just have them both be C? I guess we'll just do crouch toggle and we'll leave that alone and then we'll do that. It has to have a key. Okay, well, fuck me. Oh, there you go. Right control. Wait, was it right control before? Am I stupid? Oh, there we go. No, there we go. It was on left control for some reason. That that works better now. There we go. I'm not crazy. Cool. I fixed that problem. Oh, look. Brought some chooms with him this time. Yeah, when I kill someone, my keyboard goes red. That's cool. Love that. Dream work, V. Stand on the platform and we'll move on. Dream work, V. I'm a preem boy. the next item on the menu. Might notice I tweaked the course material a bit. Ooh. Job related items are highlighted gold. Scan two such objects. Objects of interest and surroundings, valuable information. A computer and a server. Explosive. Danger is highlighted red. Devices that can be hacked are marked green. Interactive objects are highlighted blue. <coughs> Training module will teach you how to apply technological tools to combat situ. Work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. With a cyber deck installed, your scanner provides an additional interface for selecting quick hacks and their targets. Use distract enemies to distract the guard, navigate the list of available quick hacks with blah blah and blah blah. Cool, a device to malfunction. Um, I feel like my webcam is probably in a good spot because there's stuff all over the screen. I can't uh, go wherever I need to be and, you know, not be in the way, but it is what it is. Data with Z. Cool, all right. Hiya. Distract enemies. Quick hack upload in progress. Corpo trash. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. Ugh. No worries. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> I fucking I fucking jumped. That's so stupid. Work a little hack magic Love on that. the That's funny. Alright, hold on. Green to distract the guard. Corpo trash. Crouching. <laughs> Style over substance. Good. 
Now take him out quietly. Perfect stealth, you know me, baby. All right, all yours. Take him out. Kill or non-lethal? It's a robot, kill him. Break that robot's neck. Never smart to leave behind any trace of your handiwork. Ooh. Especially the dead kind. Now pick up the body and hide it somewhere. In a trash can. Yep, gotcha. Dump. Lethal dump. Get lethally dumped, bro. Okay. Now try to take him down in one slick move. Kill and hide, buddy. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, in the freezer. Very cool. You think you're ready to try hacking some gonks in real time? Hacking Have some fun. gonks. Gonk droids. Quick hacking. Take control of the camera. Camera control. Now, detonate the grenade. Huh? He got a grenade on him? 24. See you later, bud. <laughs> Jesus. Nice. That's fun. Breach protocol. Certain devices like computer terminals, network access points can be hacked directly using a special interface called breach protocol. Doing so can unlock new information, benefits, and resources. Jack in. Oh, I have a little USB on my arm. Cool. Breach protocol interface. Breach the network, you must recreate its code sequence by selecting characters from the code matrix. Dead. Characters you select will be visible in the buffer. Okay. Breach protocol always begins with the first row active. Select 55 from the code matrix. Oops. Selecting a character from the active row will then activate the column it belongs to. 55 again. And then the active area alternates between rows and columns. BD. 5. Program is now successfully uploaded to the network. If you don't succeed, try again after a time. There are no penalties for failing. Oh. Old demons uploaded. You just needed to shut your brain down and follow orders. In true Militech fashion. Not too shabby. Militech's algorithms put you on a decent run. Got additional modules if you want to hone any other skills. Or you finish up, dealt out now. But remember, the street's not going to give you any hints or second chances. So it gave us like combat basics and hacking. Um, Need a handwritten invite? Stealth feels pretty clear what that would be. Um. So I want to do the optional stuff. I feel like we'll be able to figure it out as we go along. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah. So we got the basics, baby. Bad, huh? Now we can get down to biz. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. Yeah. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. I got an achievement. The fool. Become a mercenary. Okay. Equipping combat gadgets. Assign a grenade to the combat gadget quick slot in your inventory so you can make easy use of it during combat. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's on middle click? Ooh, I don't know about that. Can I put that on grenade? On G? Um... Hmm, wait. Let me see. Let me see, hold on. Use combat gadget. Is G assigned to anything else? Fuck. What is it assigned to? I wish it would... Okay, I guess I'll just look for it. It's assigned to toggle walking? Um, fucking, can I just put like toggle walking, like M? 
Ugh, it's assigned to another action. God damn. I'm trying to guess, like, what would be unused? That was open map. Oh, of course it was. M for map. Sure. Um. Let's see. Toggle walking. L. Was anything assigned to L before? It doesn't look like it, I think. Cause I'm, not, I'm never gonna toggle walking. I think that's good. All right. Um, so now I can use G for grenade. Uh, yeah! I'm fine with that, I think. Um... Your move, V. What about... What's... What's F? You have to bear with me as I figure out all of my key bindings. This is why I'm usually a... I grew up as a console baby, okay? Primary interaction, right, yeah. And then what's E? Cyberware systems, okay. I'll leave that as is. Make moves, Mano. Whenever there's a bunch of uh, keys to press, struggle town. Aliens kidnap my wife and kids. Help me celebrate. Amazing. I can't eat this hot dog. Jackie, shut up! I'm looking at my environment, bro. You're my best friend. You should know. In these six months, all I do is stand there and look at things and talk. Let me yap, will you? Cool, I got a, a pistol. Oh, I can attack with my bare hands. Damn, I'm a brawler with these fisties. That's cool. Fists, tier one weapon. Cool. Your movie. Your movie. I know. I'm looking. Oh. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure, you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Cool. Bug, you could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. I like what it looks like on the eyes when they're on a little phone call. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ! He went straight through me! <laughs> that was horrifying. He's just like, all right, what? <laughs> Jackie, please at least ask me to move out of the way first before I uh, have, a, uh, have a fucking heart attack. That was scary. All right, weapons free. Looking for 1237. Oh, this is cool. Be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Fingers crossed it's not too late. We're in the Blade Runner oh, complex. Life or death shit. Hurry. Oh, is, is that you? And I have like a flashlight. It's dark in here. Give me some night vision on my retinals. Oh, well, the music coming from there is cool. Begin quick having a look at a device scan it with the thing. Open with four. Alright, we're going in. Oh, dude, when I go hacking, my entire keyboard goes like a cool green with like red lighting. Ah, uh, I've never had a game do this to my keyboard before. I'm like brand new to this kind of thing. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, shiny. Never played a game that has interacted with my keyboard lighting. That's fun. Mr. Whitey Mint. Oh, dude. They got a whole fast food joint in this house. Ah, Jackie! I'm looking at stuff. I know it's urgent, but let me look at the details. It's so cool. Can we change this that in the settings on how long it takes for him to tell me to do stuff? Are we fucking late? Is that her? Is that our target, V? I'm using the computer. I'm going on the internet. Fresh meat from your favorite supplier to gomp. 
We won't forget you're a dead man walking from Victor to Blaze. You're fucked. If any of your lackeys show up here again, they're in for worse than a split jaw. That's not an empty threat. Try me, motherfuckers. Let's use the... Oh, we can use the internet. We actually can. Oh, uh, I'm using the internet. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit. This is incredible. Oh my... Okay. Is Japan going backwards? Oh, dude. I want to read all of this, but I wonder how bored you're all going to get. But it's so cool. The Asian games market has shocked the world with one word. Gentomo. The brand new company is developing a smart hollow call simulator that will allow users to design their friends from scratch. Their hope is that suicide rates in countries... Oh, sorry. You're not subscribed to our news service. Subscribe now. Oh. This page cannot be displayed for help. Please contact Netwatch. Dude, this is great. This act, you can keep going on pages everywhere. That's fun. Can't wait to browse the web later, guys. Kid in a candy store right now, for sure. Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. No, no, lucky gal. Techno babble. I love it. I love the sci fi talk of things that I don't understand. Perfect stealth, let's go. Baby steps V. Enemies watching. <gasps> Bump. I just did that in the tutorial. Look at that. Perfect. Nice. I couldn't have done that better money. Oh now. dude, look how just like the texturing of the these clean. Wow, it's very clean. Like that natural blur that comes through the film. Jesus. The lighting is incredible, too. What is this? Tier 1 assault rifle. Sure. On your toes. More bodies ain't coming. They're almost on you. Ooh, Jesus. Fuck these Whoa. Oh, yeah, V. They're coming. Hide from the scavengers. Oh. Pick the prick off. Yeah, wouldn't touch that. So we wait while staying unnoticed. Okay, we're waiting. Cabrones. Thick as locusts. Let's wait and plant a spree. Take one down. Just real quiet. Well, I don't have a silencer on this. I don't have a silencer on this bad boy. UV stealth baby see we're fine we don't need the tutorial look at this dude's face what is going on with that face he's got like a robot face dude that would be so distracting use the path marked by t-bug oh cool t-bug's helping us out over here Cra oh, ooh. T bug. Thank you. They can spot you. Yeah, of course they can spot me, but you know, what do you want me to do? Let's defeat the scavenger leader. He's going to see me. Oh, he took a little while to wake up there. <laughs> he took a little while to wake up. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Clean it out. Don't oh, combat music is cool. Pick up everything. No way. Not Got a window on the left. Oh, ah. Get his attention. I'll do the rest. Pack on the doors just clear. Watch yourselves. 
Dude, this music though. Oh, Jackie! Dude, yes! <laughs> Yo! Sick. Don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Yo. What's my weight limit? Because I've been picking everything up at the moment. Oh, dude. It's heavy. Damn. Yeah, I remember this. This was the game. This is the gameplay reveal uh, level from years ago. Holy shit. So I, I'm remembering this now. It's all coming back to me. That's the shit that we have seen, like the really like early sort of announcement and gameplay trailers. And then anything that came out after the game released, uh, all I know about is like Idris Elba is in Phantom Liberty. That's kind of like it. <laughs> Pain editors and mortality rates. The implant known widely as the pain editor is cyberware that reduces or even entirely eliminates pain. It has enjoyed unwavering popularity for years among certain circles in Night City, the most devoted and arguably most valuable of which is mercenaries. It is using this test group that Zetatech conducted the following research. The pain editor is a neural code processor that inhabits the sig inhibits the signals sent from uh, nociceptors? No, no susceptors to the parietal lobe of the brain, thus preventing feelings of pain in the user. Some models also reduce symptoms of fatigue. The beneficial effects caused by the pain editor are in some ways similar to the symptoms of hypo, hypothesia, including greater resistance to physical forms of torture and the ability to ignore pain from severe wounds, which can allow the user to continue to perform beyond normal human limitations uh, for a brief period. However, some studies have reported that the pain editor can yield a range of undesirable side effects. For example, in the heat of battle, some users are unaware of the severity of their wounds, which causes them to continue fighting without realizing they are dying and require immediate medical attention. The statistics support the theory that a lack of negative reinforcement may cause users to continue fighting when the rational strategy would be to retreat and escape death. Since 2020, the mortality rate of pain editors Owners is above 60%. In this report, I address the question of how to better protect Zetatech clients. Cool. I feel like I would want one, but one that you could sort of toggle on and off. I'd be like, I'm going to go get a tattoo. I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> and then I don't have to sit there and just hate my life for a few hours, you know? Euro dollars, the standard currency of Europe and North America. Nice. Practical plaid shirt with micro mesh. Of course, it's flannel. The day the tower fell. I wonder where it goes in our inventory. Oh god, why do I? So that's what I look like. I got a. Have I got like multiple shirts now? No, I just got that. Interesting. Um, cyberware. Backpack. Backpack. Oh, look at these cool designs. That's a fun looking submachine gun. Um, I got junk. Clothing. Nice. Um, so journal. Completed stuff. This stuff. Where does our... Where does the the stuff to read go? You know? Oh god, I can just do Phantom Liberty straight away. <laughs> Make a name for yourself in Night City. Get that out of here. Can I it's not a good thing it's not tracked. Oh, database. There it is. It'll be there. Oh, there you go. Oh Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All right, guys, <laughs> let's go. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, holy shit. There's a lot. Um, we're going to read some of this naturally, but like um, we'll figure it out at another point. Story characters. There we go. Let's find out who the hell T-Bug is because we're just supposed to know who T-Bug is. 
is a textbook example of how solos and netrunners really aren't all that different. Both take on risky contracts that usually end in dust-ups with corporations or the law, ever walking the tightrope between life and death. After all, black ice isn't any less dangerous than taking a bullet. T-Bug's well aware of this fact, and as a legit specialist in her field, she's fully within her rights to be picky about her contracts. Unlike more reckless netrunners, T-Bug intends to sail into retirement age, preferably with enough eddies to leave this goddamn city behind for good. So Euro dollars are called eddies. Pre premium is called preem. I'm learning the lingo. Um, Padre is a fixer. Sebastian Abara, formerly a priest in the Valentinos, but after a bloodbath in Moto Cielo, he converted to a more noble calling, that of the fixer. Um, what are the, what about the, the books that we're, like, reading? I say books, <laughs> I should say something else, like, cyber shards, or some shit. I'm, I'm glad that you can filter it, too. Encrypted shards? You can read collected shards when pressing T when the notification appears. They can also be found in the shards section of your journal. Some shards you may find um, can have encrypted data. Crack security option to begin decryption through breach protocol. Cool. Okay, so in the journal, there is a shard section. Oh, there it is. So, journal, shards, leaflets, articles, technology. Cool. That's nice. All right. Figuring out where to find things, just in case if you want to take stuff and then, like, read it later. The day the tower fell. In early August 2023. A single event would change the course of history. I just went through that. Although it fell against the bloody backdrop of the fourth corporate war, the global media still fed on the story for weeks, and could you blame them? A group of terrorists detonated a nuclear bomb, blowing Arasaka Tower to pieces. The terrorists' warning came too late. Not all of the tower's employees could be evacuated. The blast itself killed and wounded thousands, while countless others died from radiation sickness. How did the biggest terrorist attack of the 21st century happen? Who was behind this catastrophe? To find the answers, we need to first understand the context of that era. The early 2020s was a period of unrest for Night City, and anti-corporate sentiment was at an all-time high. In the epicenter of the city's lawlessness stood the Atlantis Club. It was seen as an island of resistance against the powers that be, primarily mega-corporations like Militech or Biotechnica, though a special place in hell was reserved for Arasaka, the Japanese arms manufacturing Zaibatsu that held the most influence over Night City. The kinds of people who frequented the Atlantis felt that corporations had hijacked the future and turned people into consumer slaves and ironically deprived of the two things capitalism loved most, freedom and choice. These people called themselves edge runners, like the anime. They positioned themselves against the corporate world order. They declared their own freedom in opposition to the status quo, but deprived of any peaceful way to meaningfully change what they called the system, they reached for more radical methods of self-expression. These people were no strangers to violence. Well, a good thing nobody tried to recreate this event last year in real time. <laughs> um, maybe I'll have to... I'll probably watch the Edge Runners anime after I finish the game. That would be uh, the plan, I would say. Toys. From Gomp to Artyom. Got a lot of good stuff. And from Zetatech uses biosignature, but we ordered a jailbreak. Militech lock on sites, wonder where this gonk got it. Arasaka hormone regulator, no biosignature, and some other little curiosities. Optics, actuator, and cosmetic real skin. Interesting. I need a. I get used to pressing escape to like back out of stuff, but it keeps just opening the main menu, so we're gonna do that a lot. Alright, let's go in here. Jesus fucking Christ. Should be. I mean, I got a stomach of steel, but this, oh, this. Think I got her, got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into her biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Jack into her biomod. This does not look good. She's in the tub of ice, crammed in with another, fuck. Like slabs of meat. K-1 
Keep it together, V. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Tiny scar on the subconscious, that's all. Heard people who live through shit like this get panic attacks. That ever known why. You'd be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hands shaking. V, jack into her biomon. We need to know what we're dealing with. Yeah, we babbling. Jacking in. Oh, it's so weird. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Traumatine Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Damn. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Primo. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck. She's flatlining. V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Engage, vato! I think... Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, cabron. Get her outside. Now, I am aware that in the original, there's supposed to be a titty in my face right now. Get her out. Uh, but this is unfortunately not the Wild West and the lawless civilization uh, that we want on YouTube. So I do have to have the censorship filter on. No titties. Sorry. <laughs> they, we do have the jiggle physics, but we do we do have a bra on. <laughs> Landing. Stand clear. Initiating security protocol. Follow all instructions. Yo. Pretty close to the edge there, guys. Place the on the ground. Damn, look at them with their guns. All right, fellas. Five steps back, now. Jeez, military ambulance. TT-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulus being administered. Trauma team. They sound so cool. Yo. Yeah, damn, that's sick. Feel the chemistry. God, this the smoke effects and textures look really good. Really impressed with this. All right, Jackie, see you later. Wee. <laughs> no guardrails out here. Wow. Very cool. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's it gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. Saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. And then we get another six months later. I <laughs> forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. To access your phone menu, hold T. Cool. Oh, yeah, what was my message? My Road Rage Arcade game? 
Thank you for playing Roach Race. We hope you had fun. If you want to try again, remember there's prizes waiting for the best runs. Eighth place, only three spots off the prize winning top five. Get back into the game. Time to win something. Cool. I can read. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Nice. Two street cred, bruh. Words out the NCPD's gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. Alright, let's get out of here, bruh. Me in the passenger seat. Drive me home, boy. That's fun. New job, the gig. Guy. Guy. Just a nice little admire Every day the view. Stepping up to what it takes. City of dreams, city of game. You don't believe in no fake. Can't stop digging night city. A city like any other. The fuck is bigger? No, Mano. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Whelan. Look at that. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Legends are born here. I'm starving. I love that green coming out of those fans. Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, you're right. Is it just me or? Oh, you can do it. Man on the ass, telling us. Hello. I don't like this. I don't want that you bit. Yo, oh shit! Straight into it. Oh my god. Yo, have I got? What else have I got? Do I have to use the pistol? Just the pistol, okay. Damn. Can't use my assault rifle or anything. Holy fuck! <laughs> Holy fuck! Damn. I'm gonna die because I'm too busy admiring this fucking city, dude. Got you, assholes! I got him, I got him. Oh. Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. We can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. I just want to roam these streets. There's so much to take in. Look at the lighting! Is gonna be what I keep saying. That red with the rain. Sexy! It's so fucking environmentally fucked. Love it. <laughs> Look at the mech, too. What does the lockdown to for the notice? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am. Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? That Robocop looking yeah, ass Ed 209. Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand up guy. She's giving me a chance, waiting. Mm, that's a shame. I'll stay silent. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. Officer, ma'am. <laughs> I 
accidentally says, <laughs> let us through. So you can be nice when you feel like it. When am I not nice? Um, always? I'm always never not nice. I love that we're getting a really cool, like, tour of just shit that's going down in the city. This is great. It doesn't look like your average bust. Sure. <laughs> That's Max Tack. Yo. CPD's apex predators. Why are they taking out street trash then? Out of hand. Gunk's out there though. Just a midday snack for him. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. Damn. They had it coming. That's the that's the dude from the like. Right, like the first announcement trailer for Cyberpunk in 2014. That helmet. That was cool. I remember that. That was such an iconic trailer. I remember watching that. I was I was 19 years old when Cyberpunk 2077 was first announced. What's your place? What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill V? Don't let me through. Sure about that? Oh yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again. Life's too short to be slow. Speed bar. She can skip rides, but this is fun. I'm taking in the the atmosphere. Sweet dreams, then. Sweet dreams. See ya. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. All right. Go home. Go to my apartment. All right, I've leveled up. Let's take a look. Uh, one perk point and attribute point available. Um, so can I go past six now? Okay, level six out of 20. So 20 is the max of each. Um, I'll put a point in body. Um, skills. Sure. Headhunter, Netrunner, Shinobi, Solo, and Engineer. These are cool. Sure. So a perk point. Um. My operating system. God, this is going to be really fun. All of this shit? I'm so excited to learn about how this is all going to work. Um, how do I do perks? Oh, they're in the actual trees. Gotcha. Okay. Feline footwork. When crouched, more movement speed? Road Warrior Sand Vistan to slow down time while driving. Killer Instinct. 25% damage with knives, axes, and silenced guns outside of combat. Oh, I'm going to be so excited to have a silenced pistol for sure. Um, also provide a preview of estimated damage. That's nice. Uh, ram recovery rate, vehicle quick hacks, highlight nearby access points and cameras. That's cool. Um, where do we start? Here. I can't. Oh, you need to be tech three out of four. Gotcha. pre new ways to exit vehicles. Okay, so you can have like style points on reflexes for jumping and sliding out of cars. The faster you move, the more difficult for enemies to shoot you. Effect increases when dashing, dodging, sliding, sprinting, and vaulting. We're slippery. Um, unlock slow health regen and combat. Vehicle collisions. Um, okay, in that case, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct! Sounds good. Let's go home. Wide open. Ha! 
It's big. God, there's just so much. So many ads. My first Your taste, their pleasure, body dog. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. A job from T-Bug. The task T-Bug has given you. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip End program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. How's life treating you, beautiful? Can't complain, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. Now. I'd like us to talk about the most exclusive and highly sought after implant on the market today, Arasaka Corpse Relic. But maybe we ought to make sure our fair audience is up to speed. Karina, what is Relic exactly? In a word, if you could. In one word? I'd say immortality. Immortality? Really? That's right. Relic allows you to transfer the consciousness from a dying person, finding a new home for their soul on a transferable chip. This person, they'll never leave your side, a companion forever with you in your own consciousness, just a- Child, child, think for a moment about what you're saying. This relic is an abomination that feeds on human misery. It is an unnatural likeness. A golden calf born by false prophets. Arasaka speaks of preserving the soul, but they can promise nothing more than a heartless, mindless algorithm speaking with the voice of the departed. What's more, this technology is just another tool of coercion and corruption. Only the wealthy and powerful elite will have access and they will pay any price in exchange for a chance at this so-called immortality. Well, that is true that Arasaka Corp has specifically limited access to the relic in order- Your promise is a lie, an evil lie, motivated by greed and love. <laughs> now that is rich. They keep cutting each other off. Excuse me. I don't know if that's intentional. False promises, greed, a lust for power. Why, it sounds an awful lot like a church to- What? Yeah. The dialogue is not going all the way through, sadly. After death? Do you not charge funeral fees to a family in mourning? Maybe the Reverend is just afraid of some healthy competition, huh? Competition? You believe everything in this world- Does he have a cross on his forehead? He does. And wouldn't we be right? We can construct artificial brains, create new consciousness. But I ask you why? What does that give us? Are we as a people on this earth any happier for it? You claim that this relic gives eternal life. But all I see is an eternity of suffering. Rather than say goodbye, we haunt ourselves with their voices, their presence. What do you folks think? Who holds the truth? Is it Ms. Lee or maybe Reverend Culver? That is up to you. Send Culver or Lee to <laughs> 7892 to catch your vote and enter your name for a chance to win tickets to this year's playoff. Z -Z -Z Until next time, Night City. God damn, that's rough. <laughs> vote for the whoever's right. Uh, unfortunately, some of the dialogue's getting cut off there, but I was I still was able to read it. God damn, okay. Damn, look at the goddamn environment. Sheesh. Alright, we just watched a whole news program. A talk show program, rather. Wipeout. Crime and punishment and zombies. Last two. Gotta be some kind of scam. Gonna have a word with the super. Oh yeah. So, in what? You embarrassed? No, studying it. What is it then? Just later, all right? I got a clusterfuck on my hands right now. So you are embarrassed. Fucking gonk piece of shit. This tragic incident. Just having a look around. Be 
character keeps like tripping over shit. He like dashes forward when I'm not even pressing the dash button. It's like doing that. We got circular uh, pizza boxes. What a world the future is. It's crazy. Simple office pants. Give me those. Give <laughs> me some simple office pants. Alright, to my apartment. Open wardrobe. Zero dollars. Oh, look at all these. I got a bunch of clothes in here. Look at all this. Nice. My wardrobe. Wardrobe outfits. You can have up to six outfits saved in your wardrobe. These can be activated and deactivated at any time. I like that. That's cool. So put together, put together something nice. Oh, yep, just, just the hat. Nothing else, thanks. That'll, that'll do me just fine. Um, yep, that's my outfit right there. Oh lordy. Oh, it's the Witcher jacket. Great. <laughs> Witcher leather jacket. Yep. Cool. Where's my, uh, where's the jacket that's on the cover of the game? That's also a Witcher jacket. Cool. All right. Uh, what's on the lower body? V-Stain tank top. Same bitch. Galaxy t-shirt. <laughs> okay. The GOG. We got a Witcher shirt as well. Okay. All I've got is, I've got a bunch of promo shirt stuff, which is fun. Um... Streetwear pants and these pants. Kind of like those baggy pants. They're kind of cool. What shoes have I got? I got my street nicks. No socks. Unbelievable. My sneakers. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at my street kid style. All right, take that. How do I take my hat off? Take it off. Get it. Go away. Go oh, Take off. Unequip. Oh, with the right... With my middle mouse button. There you go. There you go. I look pretty cool. Street kid in Apocalypse. Um, I'm more like a skater at this point. Wild hunt jacket. That's so funny. Alright. Alright, I fuck with my second conflict biker jacket. That's my first outfit. There you go. So I guess that's what I look like now? Yes. Cool. Bolshevik Vodka. New release Brain Dancers. What's up, BD Maniacs? Hungry for a new emo rush? Then check out the latest word from the freshest BDs on the market. Foreign body. The body is everything. There is nothing else. It is you, but it is also just a tool for your mind to interact with the world. But what would happen if this tool tried to live its own life? What if it tried to kill you? Though not a particularly original addition to the thriller genre, this brain dance featuring Luke Pollard is still a solid experimental ride. Experiential ride, even. The fear of disobedient implants has been around since pirates were walking around on peg legs. Well, maybe not that long. As a result, the trope has been pervasive in film, brain dance, and urban legend alike. Still, Foreign Body borrows some of the genre's best elements while still incorporating just enough new stuff to the mix to keep it interesting. After all, it's not every day you see the world from the perspective of a sentient arm. <laughs> Metal Gear. <laughs> Liquid is in my arm! <laughs> Maxwell's Rehab. This brain dance season has been chock full of horror, but this one stands out from the rest. The always phenomenal Maxwell Ramirez is pushed to the brink of cyberpsychosis so he can relive his return to normalcy. 
This title offers a tone of optimism, but don't let that fool you. You will relive Maxwell's slip into psychosis, the heartbreak of his wife, and the gradual reintegration into a world that is now far different from how he left it. This BD is a must relive of the season, but it's not for the faint of heart. This is kind of cool. <laughs> Brain dances, such a unique form of media. Badlands Raid. At last, a BD for those looking for something a little lighter. Badlands Raid is a remake of the 2023 classic, which was an innovative tour de force of the time. For those of you unfamiliar, the plot revolves around an ordinary, boring guy who accidentally gets tangled up in a nomad ambush on a Zetatech convoy. I won't spoil it, though, because even though the main plot hasn't changed in 54 years, most people these days don't know the ending. What I will say is this, the remake's creators have introduced a few modern twists into the story that should make for a pleasant surprise to classics lovers and newbies alike. This feels like a reference to the Cyberpunk 2020 tabletop thing, and now with, like, <laughs> going into... Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 as a game, maybe? Because I'm aware that this was a game that was based off the tabletop, which is cool. Makes me want to play the tabletop one day. You can turn on and watch TV instead of going to bed. Uh, let's watch TV! I love how I have a bunch of just random screens and then I've also just got TV! And we can switch channels. Be the dream. Or the dreamer. The ultimate sexploitive experience. Synthetic meat, you're in for a treat. Oh my lord. I love it. It's disgusting. Slaughterhouse. Jesus. Oh, this is very immersive. I'm loving the all the ads that they're throwing at us. Uh, I think the ads keep breaking. Do the, will the ads keep breaking, maybe? Or maybe it's intentional, I can't tell. Oh no, it's that again. What? Real water! Only 99 euro dollars a gallon. Jesus Christ. Get me out of here. My lord. My brain is already rotted. And then I just have all of these screens as well. What is that? What is that? What a view. Night City. Mac and Jesus. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I cannot wait to roam the city. That's gonna be fun. Check my weapons stash. Open sesame. Why won't you open? Alright, I gotta get used to that. Ah, yes. All of my weapons that I definitely have. Hey. Okay. So, this is my storage, this is my inventory, okay. Give me my stuff. Okay, so this is all the cl so you can keep all your clothing just in your storage, and then access it in your wardrobe, that's nice. Um, <laughs> Stash the stuff that's not equipped. Gotcha. Um, and then in terms of weapons, I guess you can see how much that's how much ammo I have. Okay. And then you can compare your stuff. Um, this will take a little while to like go through and figure out everything that I want. These all kind of look the same. Um, I'll store some stuff away for now, and just have one of each. We got a two-handed club, baseball bat, katana, iconic, and an actual sword. Oh, Gwynblythe. 
Deals extra damage against bosses after killing enemies in rapid succession. All attacks are temporarily guaranteed crit hits. The effect refreshes after killing another enemy. So this feels like this is a Witcher Blade. I'm going to put that away. So we've got some special weapons. Um, crafted by for perfect balance, attack speed is not affected by stamina. I know it's like clearly a special weapon, but it's also a katana. So I want to keep it. <laughs> Because the game said that I'll have um, extra damage with blades and silent stuff from stealth. Right, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna equip the katana. I'll equip my pistol, and then we'll also have like a little. Um, we'll do a precision rifle too. We've got attachments that I can put on as well. Cool. Look at me, street kid. So we got a stash that's very nice. I have an egg share. Over substance. Body needs some tweaks. Approach the mirror in your apartment. Oh yes, I can just change appearance at home. Fuck yes. I don't have to like um, go to a barber or somewhere. <laughs> I can just change it at home. That's cool. Got four messages. Mega Medicine Lottery to Encrypted. Buy two tickets, get the third for free. Thousands of prizes still available. Drugs, reanimators, primary care appointments, surgery, vouchers, blood screen, cyber psychosis, vaccines, rupert dog referrals, and our grand prize, a one-year trauma chain premium package. Penis Nano Jail Scam Alert. Do not click on any emails with ads for penis enlargement. Nano Jail, this is a scam. Ordinary jails cannot stimulate new cell growth. They only tested and proven method of penis enhancement is still the eerie sex hormone treatment. Our scientists at Aerosex have developed a formula that will dramatically increase the length and girth of your penis by in only seven days. Join the thousands of other satisfied customers and order your kit today. I didn't believe it would work, but I was desperate. I only had a week to get my penis big, and I knew Mr. Stud wouldn't cut it. Fortunately, Aerosex did the trick, and I've still got the nail marks on my back to prove it. Thanks, Aerosex. Richard Towers, real customer verified penis growth. <laughs> Alert, you've been attacked. Malware detected. Your computer has been attacked by three demons. Our system detected two. What was that? Is this me getting hacked? What was that noise? What the fuck? Settle down. That scared the shit out of me. Your computer has been attacked by, by three demons. Our system detected two attempts to obtain your personal data. Okay, what's that laughter? What the fuck is that? Is that from the computer? What is that? What the fuck? Computer is fucking haunted? Or is that from like outside? What the hell? Auto fixer. Vehicles buying. On the auto fixer net page, you'll find all vehicles currently up for sale. You can access this net page from the computer in your apartment or from other computers throughout Night City marked with a car icon. What up, value two man customer? Let me guess, still driving that old set with wheels and bored out of your gourd? El Capitan's got you covered. Check out my new net page, Auto Fixer. Pretty slick name if you ask me to find your new ride today. Just click pay and boom, Night City streets are all yours. You demand El Capitan supplies. Simple as that. What are you waiting for? Visit Auto Fixer now. Bye, bye, bye. So I can actually use this shit? Mayor of Night City. Damn. Oh yeah, I think it's someone outside. Dude, look at all these fucking cars. Completing more vehicle contracts. Okay. Damn. Ah, the minis. That's cool. Oh, I love these cars. Very cool. Nice. Oh, dick and whiskey. So I can look in the mirror. That's me, baby. S stop looking. Change facial expression. Sure, that's a pout. Ah, uh, stare. Yep, that's a, that's a stare, alright. Oh god. I love how they just are not changing. <laughs> they really barely change. It's like looking into a mirror, dude. Oh, look, he did something. There we go. Gawk. 
That's fun. I don't need to change my appearance right now. But that's fun. I can shower as well. Just shower before bed, wash all the blood and guts off of me. Carrying that naked lady. I guess my clothes just automatically come off. Yeah, I'm naked. <laughs> my clothes have been removed very quickly. If I had the censorship thing turned off, could I see my magnum dong right now? Damn, I get dressed quick, man. So immersive. Drinks, drugs, heavy, hardcore meals, girls, boys. Can I actually use this? Oh my god, I got a fucking burrito in my house. Dude, that is exceptional. Instant burrito? Yummy. I'm sure that is not at all disgusting. <laughs> the concept of a pre-packaged burrito out of a vending machine in your apartment. That's a very wild thing right there. Let's rest, shall we? What a day and what an episode to start Cyberpunk 2077. Let's go rest. Sleepy time for V. Incredible start. Is it getting hot in Act one. There you go, that's the prologue over. Very cool. And it's a new day, baby! Night City! Look at that. Oh, V! You get any sleep? Yeah, no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jagged into that Corpo's bile mine. Don't know. Neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. God, ha having a virus in your own cyberware would be so weird and strange. Amazing. Okay, that's day one. That's episode one. That is our first episode of Cyberpunk 2077. So happy that I'm finally starting. So excited to continue the adventure. Uh, this game is gorgeous. Uh, love this introduction. Wish we got to play some of that half a year of uh, prologue stuff, so I guess that's the Street Kid origin. You get to just see it play out, sadly. I would have loved to have spent a little more time in that, but we did get an introduction. We've got a taste of Night City, and we've got uh, so much more ahead of us. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much again to my lovely Big Boss tier patrons who voted for this one. Uh, you do get seven days of early access as a thank you for supporting me directly and allowing me to play video games full time to share my passion with you. I wholeheartedly appreciate your support. Thank you so much. What a way to kick off 2024. I'm excited for the adventure to come to see how long this one will be on our channel. But uh, we've got to come out swinging in the new year always with uh, a great Let's Play. And I'm feeling super, super jazzed to continue this one so much ahead i think so thank you so much for joining me today hope you've enjoyed the episode and i will see you in the next episode of cyberpunk 2077